Hello, I'm Patrick with Lone Wolf Software. This is a quick tutorial to show you how to use the birthday anniversary reminders option in Contact Wolf. Now we just added this uh, option for uh, the software. We've had a lot of requests for a way to quickly see any birthdays or anniversaries coming up for the contact records in your database. So we've just added this and it's a really useful feature. Uh, it's very easy to use and I think it's something that people are going to use all the time. So I'll show you how to use it. It's really simple. So right now, what you see on your screen is Contact Wolf, and we have uh, we have the all group loaded, which just means all the records in the database. And if you want to quickly see what uh, contact records have birthdays or anniversaries coming up for a range of days that you can select, uh, we've added a little birthday button here at the top of the screen. It has it looks like a little birthday cake. Simply click on it, and you'll see all. In this case, it's a hundred days. You'll see all the birthdays and anniversaries coming up for the next hundred days. And if you look at the top of the little window here you'll see it says birthdays anniversaries in the next 100 days for group all all just means again that just means you have the all group selected in contact wolf which means all the records in your database are being looked at so first thing you might notice is at the top here we have one record that's in red that means it's coming up in the next uh, in this case zero it's um, today uh, next two or three days uh, zero to three days is going to be in red and then we have green we have some color codings that are in here that help you recognize birthdays or anniversaries that are coming up very quickly um, things in black, I believe, are over 10 days away. And also you might see uh, uh, some, some of the records here have a light blue highlight in the back, and that just separates uh, contact records that have anniversaries. So anything with an anniversary is going to have a light blue shading in the background. Another quick way to, to differentiate between birthdays and anniversaries. Now you can click on any of these records, and it's going to quickly load the data for that record. So let's click on the top one here, and you'll see that, in this case, Albert Abner has been loaded. And it shows you the information, in-depth information for him at the bottom here of this window. Date of birth, his age, uh, anniversary date, how long they've been married, and then the couple phone numbers that he has listed. You can quickly call him and wish him a happy birthday in this case. Or you can click on the emails that he has listed, and we'll do that. If you click on one of the emails, you'll see that it automatically will launch your email client. And the, his email address is all, already going to be entered into the email client, so it's very quick for you to type in a little happy birthday message and send it to him. So it's a very, very useful feature, very quick and easy to use. Now another nice option that we've we've done with this is, um, I'm not sure what's going on there. So another option that we've done here is uh, we've added a way for you to, to just look at birthdays and anniversaries for a group that you select. So let's close this window. We'll pick another group over here. So let's say you want to look at just anniversaries or birthdays coming up for your, um, let's say your friends. So you click on the friends group click on the little birthday button and here we see the birthdays anniversaries coming up in the next 100 days for your friends group all the records that are that assigned to your friends group now you can also change the day range uh, so you can use these little up and down arrows to change the day range or you can just simply input a day range so let's input 30 for example so what's coming up in the next 30 days click refresh and you see that we have only two records that are of your friends group that have a birthday uh, in the next 30 days and again you can click on them and you'll see information is automatically loaded for them so all you have to do here is to simply enter a day range and click the refresh button and it's going to show you what's coming up in the next uh, whatever day range you've selected for uh, for that record for your for the group that you've selected now also if you click OK to close this window it's going to save that day range so if you if you click on the little X up here it won't but if you click the OK button the next time you open it um, we'll do that so we have 30 entered here right now we'll click OK let's pick another group uh, let's pick the relatives group for example and click the little birthday button and we see we have nothing coming up 30 days has been saved so let's uh, let's look at 100 days what's coming up in the next 100 days click refresh and we have only one record that has a birth an anniversary uh, 43 days away so you can see it's really fast really useful feature also at the bottom here we have a little checkbox check birthdays and anniversaries on program startup so if you just check this little box then every time you start Contact Wolf, it's going to automatically check for birthdays and anniversaries coming up for the day range that you have selected and uh, input into the into the, this little window. So as you can see, it's a really really useful option, something that I think people are going to use all the time, and uh, just just a, a powerful little feature that's uh, very useful. And uh, we added it because we've had so many requests for it, and uh, I think it's something that uh, people are going to really appreciate having in the software. So uh, thank you for watching and uh, look for more, more videos in the future uh, for Contact Wolf. Thanks for watching.